and greetings once again welcome back to enchanted arms and we have a yuki to speak to you're going to bed yes i am enthusiasm for everything oh my god crazy little lady Standing guard over the magic hall. We don't have time to slowly gather intelligence. I need solid proof now. All I need to do is wait. Here they come. My, my. This is quite a change in plans. To say we were meant to lose on purpose. <laughs> that Oka proved quite worthless, didn't he? Maybe we should have done away with the inane theatrics and done this from the start. <laughs> Just take the magic ore once everyone is asleep. How simple. There after the Emperor of Fire's magic ore? <laughs> with the magic ore in our possession, Baron Hartson will be able to take control of the royal line. We're set for life once that happens. Ooh, leader, you're quite a wicked man. Not as wicked as you, giggling man. <laughs> Please, use my name. I can't believe this. The resistance being used for such a despicable purpose. We have Karine under our control, too. We can do whatever we want. With the magic ore and Karine in our possession, Caliban can do nothing. What a naive girl she is. So easily duped, just like the rest of those London idiots. <laughs> they all believe that Caliban wants to revive the Emperor. When in reality, he is the one most opposed to such a plan. Of course, Kareen, being out of the castle, knows nothing of the King's isolation. When the royal line is cowed, even by night, it really is the end. Caliban gets that weapon from Yokohama to resist the Emperor. And Kareen goes and breaks him out of his cell. <laughs> Foiled at every turn by his own daughter. Oh no! Father is against the revival of the Emperor? That's why he was holding Atsuma. And look what I did! Well then, I'll just be getting this magic ore to Oka. Take care out there. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Oh no, I need to follow him. I'd better get Atsuma and the others. You're not human, Atsuma! You're a weapon created for war, that's all! What am I thinking? He won't help me now. The real fool in all of this has been me all along. Very well. I'll do this alone then. Yes, says the fool. <laughs> I'm sure that giggling man came this way. I think I've lost him. There! There he is! He's with... Oka! <laughs> Lord Oka, I've brought the item as promised. Indeed. The Emperor of Fire's Magic Corps. Well done. <laughs> Please see that it gets to Baron Hartson. I will. But we've got something to do first. <laughs> I know you're there! Come out! Oh no, they've seen me. You can't hide from me. Get out here now. Guess I don't have a choice. Well, if it isn't Lady Kareen, a lady like you shouldn't be out at such an hour. I don't think you with your secret meetings are in any position to lecture me. <laughs> that strong will won't last long. I'm afraid you're going to have to come with us. My subordinates are nearby. Don't get any ideas. Do we have an understanding? Yes. Show yourself. We meet again, Cavalier. You again? What are you doing here? Helping you out, of course. I found something that might be of interest in your leader's room. I thought you might like it. Here you go. Gave a letter to Rygar. Uh, a letter? Yes. Make good use of it. Now, farewell. 
What kind of letter could this be? This is... Atsuma? Atsuma? Wake up! Mm, I'm starving. Another hamburger. No, two more. Atsuma, wake up, you idiot! Green, I need more food. More. Mm -hmm. Why you? If you want to eat so badly, you can have some hot lead. How about that? <gasps> you! You! What are you trying to do, kill me? You gun-toting freak! You're awake! At last! What do you expect? I was about to slip off into eternal sleep, if you know what I mean. Forget that! We've got big trouble! What now? The magic core is gone. Stolen by Karin. What? Karin stole the magic core? There's no time to explain! We need to get out into the hall! Quick! You say... Abinuki again. Aww. Edit party. Night servant. There we go. Now keep the front line empty just for Atsuma. Oh, great. I can't speak to anyone. Looks like I have to go into the hall and do as the game says. How unfortunate. Please just start the cutscene. I don't want to run downstairs. Um, I'll use this. Yeah, it actually worked first time. I'm surprised. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, you're still here, are you? So Kareen acted alone. I guess having her cohort Rygar captured forced her to take action. Acted alone? What's she done now? She has stolen the magic core and vanished. Who knows how she intends to use it? This is a terrible turn of events. A betrayal of the gravest kind. No way! Corrine would never do something like that. Of all of you, she was the most worried about London and the Resistance. Ha! <laughs> she was just a good actress. Although, it wouldn't be hard to fool you. You think it was all an act? Why you? I don't care about Corrine. But this guy is definitely one annoying jerk. Atsuma, let's beat him up. Come on! Oh dear. So you're working with her after all, are you? Say whatever you like, you leader of losers. Ah! Wait! Wait, Rygar! Huh? Ah! Stop! Rygar, no! R Rygar? Rygar. How did you get out of the cell? Ah, don't tell me. I smashed through the wall. Now that's raw power! Cool moves, Rygar! Huh. My former comrade, Rygar. Just how many more crimes must you commit? I'm afraid we cannot let you live any longer. My brothers, seize him! That isn't going to happen. What? Everyone, look at this. What is it? Looks like a letter. It has a seal on it, too. The seal of a London noble from the looks of it. I snuck into his manor too, you know. What was his name? Hartson? Hey, that's private! You appear to recognize it. Everyone, this is a letter from Baron Hartson. It requests something of our beloved leader. A request? What request? Three things, actually. First, that he spread rumors that the king wishes to revive the Devil Golem. Second, that he capture Lady Kareen, and finally, that he steal the Emperor of Fire's magic core. But who's gonna benefit from that? The Baron, of course. And this man right here. The Baron wants to control the castle with the magic core and Kareen as insurance. I see. So they made everyone think the King was the bad guy, in order to force him into a corner. Correct. The resistance has also been used to these ends. Used? He used us? Leader, what is the meaning of this? Explain yourself! Yeah, what's going on? What ra This is a mistake! A big mistake! I'm being framed! That letter is a forgery! How about this signature of yours, right here? Wow! He signed it! Hold on a moment! Whoa! Take a look at the payoff! Impressive! 
He gets to be a Baron too, supposedly. I can understand why you did it then. Even I might do it for this much. A fake! That signature, everything, a fake! Tell the truth, or you'll not only lose the money and the rank, but also your life. <sighs> He's serious. Look at those eyes. Rygar doesn't hold back when Kareen is involved. I'll clean up what's left of him then. For a small fee, of course. No! No! Don't worry. It'll be quick. No! Okay, okay! I'm sorry. So sorry. I did it! All of it. It was me. Finally, the truth. Yes. The truth. You wanted the money, right? Yes. It was the money. Where is Lady Kareem? Ah! Oka has her! Oka? So he is behind everything. Tell me where. Where are they? I... I don't know if they're still there, but... The Knights should be in the abandoned mine. Honest. The abandoned mine. Let's go, Atsuma. Okay. I'm not that bothered myself, but... If you're going, Atsuma, I'll go too. What should I do? We'll let everyone here decide that, I think. What do you want to do with him? I'm not about to forgive him. Nor I. Let's beat him black and blue, men. No! I feel a little sorry for the guy. He's only getting what he deserves. Come on. Let's go! Hey, we got Rhaegar back. I wasn't stood here five seconds ago. Yeah. Primrose for Rhaegar. And... Oh, the abandoned man, I can just walk straight through. Actually, does the shop have anything new? Uh, no, I don't. What? Damn you, Rhaegar, needing VP. There we go. Not anything in the, in the shop? No! And I don't think there'll be anything I need, either. I really wish Atsuma would run that little bit faster. It may help. Ah, oh, we are at the exterior. Hmm. Anything interesting? It's a nice shot, I'll give it that. Sounds like something big is happening inside. What's up? Oh, nothing. Just a little surprise for the leader. Hmm. Huh. That giggling dude was here? He left looking a bit surprised as well. Giggling man? Which way did he go? Hey, calm down. What are you doing out of your cell, Rygar? That doesn't matter now. Where did he go? He hurried off toward the abandoned mine. No change in destination then. Right, let's- I'm right beside you! And I don't care about you, little annoying brat. Do you really think you can get away with this? Kidnapping me, of all people? Lady Kareen, I'm sorry, but you're making a mistake here. Believing that we can't get away with this. Well, no need to worry. I'll keep you alive. At least until Rygar gets here. If he ever does get here. What does that mean? <laughs> I wonder if your surf can defeat the golem I have prepared. Shut your mouth, worm! <laughs> you'll see, you'll see! Rygar is strong. Don't underestimate him. That bonehead got himself caught, but I won't be so stupid. So I'll take my leave. I can't believe a London Knight would keep such company. You can hate Rygar if you want, but why not just fight him fairly? Of course I want to kill Rygar myself, but I think him dying like a little mouse in a trap will be just as entertaining. <laughs> an ugly, brutal death suits him perfectly. How can you hold such an old grudge for so long? You're a coward! What would you know? Rygar and I were constantly being compared growing up. No matter what I achieved, my older brother always achieved something greater. That's just an inferiority complex. No, it isn't. In the battle with Kyoto City, Rygar's treachery as the knight captain turned me into a scapegoat. Hence this face. Look at this ugly scar! Damn him! And that Kyoto vixen, too! Your scar isn't ugly, but the twisted roots of your soul are! That's right, lady. I'm the twisted one. And the straighter Rygar gets, the more twisted I shall become. After the Battle of Kyoto City, Rygar quit his post as captain and left. All because he regretted that his actions had caused me injury? 
That kind of hypocrisy makes me want to vomit. What do you think happened to me? Left behind with the knights. They treated me like a piece of filth, as if I had driven him away myself. They never let up. On and on! Well, those fools paid the price soon enough. <laughs> anyone who ignores me, anyone who refuses to appreciate me, they'll pay for it. How small-minded. What? This happened long ago. So long ago that... Talk about baggage. You have a jaded heart. There's no room in your soul for anyone, is there? It's just a dark, cramped cell where your bitterness can fizz and boil. A man like you could never match Rygar. Why, you little... I was going to wait until my dear brother got here, but it seems I can't refrain from killing you any longer. Come on, then, if you think you can. I'm not going to suffer at the hands of a pitiful wretch like you. Am I fighting one-on-one -on -one with Corrine here? I hope Corrine is okay. I can see her making the situation worse by needlessly taunting Oka. Yeah. One thing, Rygar. Who exactly is Corrine anyway? I don't think she would want me to tell you this, but she is part of the royal family of London City. No way! Okay. You don't seem surprised. Not really. It was becoming quite obvious. But if she's part of the royal family, why is she opposed to the king? Because, as the Resistance supposedly believed, she thought the revival of the Emperor of Fire would only incite further disaster, that the clash of two devil golems would lay waste to London City. What about me, then? Where do I fit in? If you keep the magic core from being used to revive the devil golem, I'm not really needed, am I? Lady Corrine was thinking ahead. To what? The Resistance thought that simply stopping the Emperor's revival was enough, that peace would be restored. Naive, naive. So long as that ice golem is still alive and kicking, something nasty is obviously going to happen. Lady Corrine believes the same thing. That's why. She wants the power of my arm. Aha! Uh -huh. Your arm! So it does have some kind of superpowers. I knew it! Why is it attached to you then? I'd like to know that myself. All it does is bring disaster. This arm. You want me to use it again, don't you? You and Corrine. Yes. But I can't control it. Corrine knows that all too well. I've heard about that from Lady Corrine, yes. What of it? What of it? You still want me to use it knowing that? She believes in you. This all sounds a little, well, selfish to me. I understand. But Lady Corrine needs you, Atsuma. She needs me? So she gets to insult him, calling him nothing but a weapon? And then, in a crisis, all of a sudden she needs him. Let's get out of here, Atsuma. You don't have to help these people. But just think, if I don't help them out now, Kareen may suffer like I have. Suffer? How? Seeing the city that she loves ruined before her eyes. Everyone she loves ripped away from her and ending up all alone. Atsuma. I'm... I'm scared to tell you the truth. Scared that using this arm will destroy lives again. But Corrine went with me to Yokohama. She cooked for me. Although it tasted like rotting cabbage, she accepted me. So I've got to save her. She hasn't punched me yet either. Punched? Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't understand half of that. But we're going to save her, right? You don't want to? No, no, I'm fine with it. If you are. Atsuma, my thanks. Don't worry about it, Rygar. I'm doing this for my own sake. Well, we're wasting time. Come on. Kareen is waiting. And yes, I might as well. Who are you? Mr. Cloak. Yes, how could this happen? I haven't felt offended in a long, long time. Woo! Who are you? I'm intrigued. Gentleman. Uh, okie dokie. Nothing interesting. Anyway, I will end the episode here. Next episode, we will enter the abandoned mine, I believe it is. Yes, the abandoned mine. And yes, I'll see you next episode. Hope you've enjoyed it, and see you next time.